Yo, I am so hyped right now. What's going on everybody, it's James again, and the teaser trailer for Shenmue 3 has been released, and there are some interesting things going on in this trailer, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of give a breakdown of it. I've already watched it a couple of times, um, so yeah, let's just jump right into the teaser. PlayStation logo, YSNet presents. Okay, so this seems to be obviously the cave at the end of Shenmue 2 where Shenfa's stepfather was apparently carving out gigantic mirrors, which we don't know why yet. So, okay, Shenhua's face and Ryo's face. Obviously, this is still a work in progress, and they left the cave for the first time. That is so cool that they opened the trail with them leaving the cave. That's really awesome. Uh, interesting thing about the Shenmue 3 logo. Well, I'll get to that later. Uh, I like uh, the animations of Ryo's fighting there. It looks really cool. It's like he was training. This looks to be like some guy that's kind of, uh, you know, infiltrating into Baiwu Village. And Ryo says, like, you know, hold on, Shenfa, I got this. And he fights him and then saves Shenfa. And then we have some area here. So the uh, teaser almost looks like it's kind of like built into a uh, Ryo and Shenfa leave the cave. And they go to Bailu Village. Bailu Village then gets attacked and Ryo kind of like has to defend them, which is pretty cool. Um, these areas look so nice. And then it looks like they talk for a bit about the mirrors and then they go to... Is that Chobu at the end, I think? So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, produced and directed by Yusuke Suzuki, awesome. Wyasnet, awesome. Deep Silver, pretty cool. So yeah, um... That's the trailer. Uh, teaser, sorry. I got the Yu Suzuki logo. Really cool. So, my thoughts on the teaser? I find it interesting. Good choice of music. I like that they used one of the main themes of the series. And... Uh, I really like that they kind of opened the teaser with uh, them leaving the cave. Because that's been like a huge joke that Ryo's been stuck in the cave for quite some time. And... They kind of showed us areas they haven't shown yet, which is pretty cool. I think that was Chobu, but I could be wrong. Um, it was cool to see Ryo training. Uh, it looked like he was learning a move from somebody. Because that guy started talking to him while he was fighting him, so I'm assuming he's like teaching him a move. Now, who that person is, I have no idea. I'm assuming it's probably some type of Grandmaster at Bailu Village. Um, regarding the martial arts type that he was doing, I couldn't tell either. But it looked like kind of a power art. What what that is, I'm not really sure. Whether it's something like, um, you know, whether it's Chinese art that we haven't seen yet, or something that we can like kind of tell what he's gonna be doing from the VFRPG days, uh, like Baji Quan or something along those lines. Um, so yeah, and then we show show him talking to Shenfa. I really like how Shenfa looks. Um, when she was speaking very briefly in the teaser, uh, her mouth movements all that looked pretty good. Uh, obviously it says it's a work in progress trailer. I'm sorry, work in progress, I keep saying trailer. Work in progress teaser. So, yeah, I guess, uh, so far pretty good basis. I'm excited to see, you know, what the final product looks like. But so far the environments look so beautiful. Oh man, I cannot wait to explore, uh, this game. So, yeah, those are my initial thoughts. Um, when we get more material in Shenmue 3, I'll be doing more of a breakdown. There wasn't too much to work with from that teaser, but it did show us what the environments look like, and they um, just that what the characters look like as a work in progress. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I got for now. So thanks for watching, and I hope you're hyped for Shenmue 3, as I am. And as always, like I just said, <laughs> sorry, I'm so excited right now. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.